So you want to help support the monarch butterfly and you heard you need to grow milkweed. Well, today we're going to be doing a quick crash course on the basics of milkweed. So why do you need to grow milkweed? Milkweed is the host plant to monarch butterflies. It's actually a host plant to two other types of butterflies too, which are really close looking to monarchs. They're also the queen butterfly and the soldier butterfly. Monarchs like milkweed. But what does it mean when we say milkweed's a host plant? Really all it means is that this is the only place that monarchs will lay their eggs and then once those eggs hatch, the caterpillars, they only eat milkweed leaves. So introducing milkweed into your yard is really integral to helping save the monarchs. Well, why is it called milkweed? Well, it's a pretty straightforward answer. It has to do with the milky sap that's inside the plant. And that's it. Milkweed's known for having medicinal qualities that indigenous people use, but many people do have allergic reactions and your pets can too. So do be careful when pulling leaves that you wear gloves if you're not sure whether you're going to have a reaction. But while you know you need to grow milkweed, you may not know there are over a hundred native species of milkweed to North America. That's a lot. But when it comes to all these different species, well, there's a lot of differences. They can be from anywhere from a foot tall to five feet tall. They can be aggressive growers that are spreading out, or they can be clumping types, or they can actually be vines too. Now, most species of milkweed are gonna like full sun. So when considering adding them to your yard, look for full sun locations but there are a few types like aquatic milkweed that actually like semi-shade and some species that like full shade. With all this variety, some of them actually like really dry desert areas and others like the swamp, like swamp milkweed. But whether they like to be in the desert or they can live in swamp or they live in a common garden or on the side of the road, they will tend to like slightly acidic soil. Milkweed has a variety of colors from yellows, reds, and oranges to pinks to purple pink to white to even green. But how long until you get some milkweed flowers? Well, this is gonna really depend on what type of milkweed you have. For some types of plants, it takes the first year for them to establish roots and really get a strong base and you won't get any flowers. And then in year two, you will. But other types like my swamp milkweed and aquatic milkweed that I grow down here in Florida, you can see flowers as early as three to six months after transplanting them. You may be feeling a little bit overwhelmed, but I've got a trick for you. One, you should always be planting native milkweeds first. And two, one of the big five native milkweeds is probably local to your area. What are the big five milkweeds? Well, it's gonna be common milkweed, broadleaf milkweed, swamp milkweed, butterfly weed and showy milkweed. Got my monarch shirt on today. But is it hard to take care of milkweed? No, it's pretty straightforward, especially if you're dealing with a native type of milkweed. You plant it in light conditions in your garden and they'll take off. They like sun, put them in the sun. If they like to have a lot of wet roots, make sure you keep the roots nice and wet. It's really that straightforward. But the thing is, is a lot of people lose their milkweed and have it die off right at the beginning. And that really has to do with timing with when the monarchs are coming. Whenever I have to buy new milkweed, I always try to do it about a month before the monarchs are arriving. And the reason is, is that once those eggs start hatching and all those you know, little hungry caterpillars start eating, they will eat that milkweed down to sticks really, really fast. And if the milkweed hasn't established a really good root system yet, well, it just dies. But once it's got its roots established, it can go all the way down to stick and then flourish and then flourish and come back over and over again. Even the little milkweeds that are this big that I have in my shade garden. So I usually buy about one month before my monarchs get there. But if for some reason that you're on the late end, you can go ahead and put some bug netting over it initially, just allow them to establish roots, get some new growth on them, and then let the monarchs start laying their eggs and let their hungry little caterpillars eat away. And now that you have your milkweed and you're ready to start your milkweed garden, go ahead, check this video out so you know how to transplant milkweed or check out this video so that you can identify the eggs and caterpillars and know whether your milkweed's really working. Or check out this video for 10 tips on how to create a monarch milkweed garden that will bring in lots of monarchs. Or check out this video right here so that you can tell the difference between some pretty common milkweeds. Okay, I'll see you soon. Bye.